So the first thing we're going to do to set up our new app is go to the apps dashboard and click create new app. Okay, I'm going to give my app a name and I'm going to choose a color for the header toolbar and the text color. You can always change those later. Then I'm going to make sure that I install the AppPressor plugin and the JWT authentication plugin. So this is my WordPress site that I'm in now and I have AppPressor already activated and I also have the JWT authentication for WP API plugin active. And I'm going to go into the settings and make sure my JWT secret key is successfully defined. And then I will also put in my site slug and app ID. That is the site slug is what comes after myappressor.com um, on your account. And then the app ID you'll get after we create the app. It'll actually show you both of those things. The other thing we want to do is install the app presser theme. Um, that is only you only need that if you're going to be displaying iframe pages. In our case, we're not going to. Um, so we don't need to worry about that, but it's a good idea to have it installed anyways, just in case. So we're going to use a tab menu. We're going to enable user login because we're going to make this a membership app. And then the WordPress URL is just the HTTPS URL to your WordPress website. When you click verify URL, it's just going to make sure that you have the AppPressor plugin installed and active. And then next you can go down to templates and we're going to go to, let's see, I'm going to go with minimal because we're going to actually um, go through custom customize most of the pages. So then I'm going to click create app. I went through that kind of fast because we actually have other separate videos on setup. And in this series, we are just going to be focusing on actually creating the app and customizing it. If you were, if you didn't get any of that stuff, make sure to check out our getting started documentation, which shows you how to actually install the AppPressor plugin and settings and um, the JWT authentication plugin and everything like that. So once your app has been set up, you're going to see a uh, walkthrough video and then you have your ID and your site slug and your account email and that's what you're going to put in these fields here. Um, you can also install any of the extension plugins you're going to be using. In our case, we do want to use some of the membership plugins, um, but we don't have those right now. Um, we're going to get to that part in a minute. So your app is actually still building the initial preview. It takes about three to five minutes to set it up initially. So while that's happening, we can make sure that we have all of our settings correct on our AppPressor site. So what we're going to do on our, our WordPress website, excuse me, we're actually going to create a membership based app. And so for purposes of demonstration, we are using the paid memberships, pl uh, paid memberships pro plugin. And um, we also have the custom post type add on. So paid memberships pro is free. The custom post type add on is not free. And you're going to see why we need that. Basically that's to, we have a custom post type for exercises and we want to protect some of those exercises um, that does require an add on. Now you can use any membership plugin, membership, uh, member press, restrict content pro, um, pretty much any of them, woo memberships, those will all work. And so you can use whichever one that you want. This is just the one that I chose. Um, to create my exercises custom post type, I actually used a plugin called CPT UI. And I did that just for kind of demonstration purposes to make this very quick and easy. In your case, you may have a plugin that's already creating a custom post type. So it could be like an events plugin that has an events post type, or it could be a you know, an LMS plugin that has um, some type of, you know, lessons or something. Um, it could be, I don't know, <laughs> there's lots of different like job postings or whatever it is. It doesn't matter, uh, but we're going to work with custom post types and custom taxonomies just so that you get a hang of how to do that. And the custom taxonomies would be like exercise categories for our exercises. Um, so that's the setup in WordPress. Um, I have these, all of these posts here have basically just some demo content, which would be a Vimeo URL 
and then a little bit of information about the exercise, a featured image, and then we have a, a exercise category, which is a custom taxonomy. And some of these I am requiring a membership and some of them I am not. So we have kind of a mix of free and paid content and we're gonna show how to require an in-app purchase to access the paid content. Um, but then without an in-app purchase, actually be able to still view that content. So when we're ready to go, we're gonna click hide this message and then we're gonna click customize and build app. So on the customize, uh, in the app customizer, we are gonna see our app that we have here. This is just our very minimal template, so it doesn't have very much in it, but we are going to customize this and make it a membership video membership app. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is probably customize any colors that you wanna change here. And then we are going to uh, make sure that we have, let's see, we have our tab menu that's all set. We're not gonna worry about this other stuff right now. Um, if you aren't familiar with these tabs on here, just very briefly, uh, the build and preview is where we're gonna recompile our app preview if we make any uh, changes that need, uh, that need it to be recompiled. And we can also build for device testing in the app stores. That does require some setup for iOS. Um, here we have our menus. And I have a bunch because this is a demo site, but you'll probably only have one. And then we can click into our menu and see that there. So every app is just like a, it's similar to a WordPress website where the pages that are displayed are in the app are the ones that are in your menu. So anything you want displayed in the app has to be in your menu. So that's very important there. And then on the last one, we have our custom pages, which is where we're going to be creating all of our different content, um, such as the, you know, adding in the exercises and creating the paid members or the uh, in-app purchase page and all that kind of stuff. So um, in the next videos, we're gonna go over how we actually get the content in and organize it and customize it and all that kind of stuff. So I'll see you in the next video.